Good afternoon and welcome to Transteria for the final match of the group clash. And this is the B group hosting this match between Setu Madurai and Odisha FC. And this is a battle for the top spot of Group B. And we hope it will be an entertaining match of football. And here is a Setu team. A couple of changes have been effected by the coach 4-1. 4-1 is the combination. And uh, Kajol D'Souza will be playing up front. She has been a prolific scorer for Setu Madurai. Scoring as many as nine goals. And uh, these are the substitutes. And as many as five can make it to the ground in the course of the match. This is the Setu Madurai team sitting pretty on top of the table and they are challenged closely by Odisha FC, another team which has been playing pretty well. Seven changes have been affected, uh, was affected in fact in the last match and almost uh, the best 11 is back in the team. So uh, many changes here and uh, only absent, only, uh, only conspicuous uh, absences of Cynthia Santos, the Brazilian. Here she is, she is uh, in the substitute list but Baladevi is back in the first 11. Baladevi is a prolific scorer and uh, she also has been one of the best uh, players in this uh, tournament so far. And she has also been uh, the hero of the match uh, in the match uh, she last played and in the last match Anjit Tamang was the hero of the match as well. So Odisha playing uh, pretty well and at the moment they are up against a formidable opponent in Setu Madurai. So here are the two teams are making it to the ground. Setu Madurai and Odisha FC. Setu Madurai. And sitting pretty on top. And uh, in white is the team from Odisha. So here is the referee Monica Jana, very experienced. She'll be officiating today. And Odisha FC on the right of your screen are flaunting the white jersey. And in all blue is the team from Madurai. That's uh, Setu Madurai. So it's uh, between uh, the east and the south as well. Odisha playing against Tamil Nadu. And uh, Odisha FC is one of the two teams that come from Odisha in this uh, Hero IWL. So the two teams uh, being introduced to each other. But we hope that we'll be watching an entertaining match of football. This is Monica Jana on the screen. An experienced uh, referee. And here is the Odisha team posing for the group photograph. And there is the captain, Bala Devi. She's back in the first 11. She wasn't in the team in the last match that uh, played against Lord's FA. And this is the Setu team. The Setu team, Setu Madurai, are having uh, a dream tournament so far. And they have scored as many as 25 goals so far and have conceded only two goals. It's remarkable, isn't it? The captain... Anjila Seba, the Nepalese international, is up against her counterpart, Bala Devi, another international player who has been playing for the Indian national team. And from way back uh, in 2005, and she has played more than 50 matches for the Indian national team as well. It's Balaji, uh, ba Bala Devi versus. Anjila Seba, the two captains, and here are other officials. Monica Jana will be the referee today. Shima Bajragi and Sujata Palit are the two assistant referees. Purki Lamu Bhutia is the fourth official. So this is the Odisha team. And Odisha have done pretty well. Odisha so far they played six matches have won in five and lost one match that was uh, that was uh, against kickstart uh, fc in fact where odisha
conceded two goals and those are the only two goals that uh, only goals in fact they conceded the first match uh, for Odisha was a big victory against CRPF football club 6-0 was the result and then Odisha went down to kick start and then came back emphatically against Eastern Sporting Union defeating them by four goals to nil and then the routed Churchill brothers 10-0 and then they went past uh, Lord's FA with another comfortable margin of five goals and then also defeated Celtic Queens 3-0. So everything's ready here for the match. This is the final match of the group stage. It's Group B, number one versus number three. And remember, number three can become number one if they win and get all the three points so here we go the start of the match it's Setu Madurai versus Odisha FC at Trump Stadia in Ahmedabad Odisha FC in all white are playing from left to right of your screen and Setu Madurai in all blue are playing from right to left and Baladevi the captain of the Odisha team straight away with the ball and she plays a pivotal role in the midfield and she also supplies the ball up front and this player has been in sublime form what a good uh, attack that was from the left but finally the cross from Anjit Tamang was not that good look at that Anjit Tamang just trying to test the keeper and Anjila Subba rising to the occasion very experienced goalkeeper Angela she has been playing for the Nepalese national team since 2016 has played 28 matches for Nepal meanwhile Anju once again and the keeper comes out in time Faustina Okpo was uh, menacingly close to the goal as well Faustina Okpo is another player to watch out for in this uh, Odisha team as she also is a prolific uh, scorer, the player from Ghana. At the moment though, it's uh, Setu Madurai in, in attack from the right and they will win a throw-in. This is the coach of the Setu Madurai team, Joseph Naik. Joseph Naik. He must be happy with the way his team has performed so far. Durga, the right full back with a throw in and in comes the cross and as a header the first attempt from Setu Madurai that was Priya Darshini's header very weak though look at that again straight to the keeper and Shreya Huda who is back in the first 11 after missing out uh, that match against Celtic has done no mistake whatsoever meanwhile attacking Oh, the Odisha players from the right. Anju. This is the Odisha FC coach, Crispin Chetri. He has been doing a commendable job as well with the Odisha girls. And straight away a corner for Odisha FC early on in the third minute itself. And that's Kartika who will be taking the corner. In comes the floater. Will that be a header? Headed out though. Danger still not averted. It's Baladevi's shot. But there comes uh, the block. Meanwhile, Baladevi is back with the ball. Will she cross? Yes, she does. And it's on the roof of the net though. That's Baladevi for you. A very experienced player. Look at that. Baladevi getting the ball back. Doing well to go past the defender. But that uh, cross was not that good from Baladevi the number 10 33 years of age she's experienced from Manipur she started from new radiant and then went on to Manipur police played for Eastern Sporting Union as well Eastern Sporting Union of course won the hero IWL once This is Faustina. Faustina played for the under 20 Ghana national team.
Apu Nazari. Anjit Tamang now getting the ball, finding Bala Devi. So Bala Devi straight away in action in the thick of things. And look at that, Bala Devi, the captain of the team. A very experienced player. And that was Bala Devi. And the whistle was blown. So a free kick has been awarded to Odisha FC from a rather advantageous position. In comes the lob that was inside the penalty box, headed away. And the clearance comes. Now, the first touch there from Kajol de Souza. Kajol going for that ball. She is dangerous, the Odisha. Look at that, Kajol there, who has already scored nine goals in this season of IWL. The Odisha defenders have to keep her at bay. Meanwhile, the ball comes to the other end. Angela Subba, the Nepalese international, who has played for Armed Police Force of Nepal. Played 50 matches for that team. As Durga with that long ball. Apurna Nazari going for the ball, but no problem whatsoever for Julie Kishan. Playing it back to the keeper, Shreya Huda. Shreya Huda comes from Haryana. Bala Devi going for the ball. That is Priya Darshini. Priya Darshini and Bala Devi going for the ball. And the whistle was blown there by the referee Manika Jana. And Bala Devi has conceded a free kick. So it's Ngopaudi, the centre defender for Seto. In comes the ball, but headed away. And that was Kajol. Meanwhile, another attempt. And this is Kajol. Oh dear. So close. Danger still not averted, though. Another shot. But that uh, balloons over the crossbar. That was uh, a final attempt from Muskan. But what a good opportunity that was. Look at that. Here was uh, Priya Darshini onside and then came that shot and then Kajol was menacingly close to the goal. A touch could have done the trick for Setu Madurai on that occasion. That was the header. This was the first shot. Punched out and then there was Kajol D'Souza. And the final shot comes from Muskan but nowhere near the target. This is Muskan Subba. Ms. Khan hails from Sikkim. She started her career with Soreng Girls Football Academy and was tutored by Palden Bhutia. She came a long way to play for the IWL. The hero IWL has brought up a number of talents from all over the country and that has been really the great story of this uh, women's football league. Gladys Zonang Sangmi. Gladys is from Mizoram. So we are seeing a lot of players from different parts of the country. Kajol de Souza back to Priya Darshini now. Set to Madurai. That ball was meant for Kajol. Now Rem Priyanka. Priyanka Devi gets the ball. She finds Priya Darshini. Priya Darshini from the left. Can she get the ball? Kartika is along with her. The ball comes to Priyanka Devi. Leuka, as she is popularly known as. So Madurai is coming back in the game after. The first uh, few minutes were dominated by Odisha FC. We are into the ninth minute of the match and we have already seen some end-to-end -end action. Kartika, the midfielder. She finds Anjit Tamang. And Anjit Tamang has been fouled, so that will be a free kick. This is Anjit Tamang for you. 
She was the hero of the match in the last match that Odisha FC played. And that was against Celtic. Celtic Quince, which Odisha FC won comfortably by three goals to nothing. Although Anju did not score, she played a pivotal role in the victory. As Jasoda Munda comes from the right, will she cross? In comes the cross, that can be dangerous. Angela Subba coming out in time. And that was the cross and the keeper doing no mistake. Look at that take, a confident take from Angela Subba, the Nepalese international, the captain of the Setu Madurai team. New attack there. This is Kajol de Silva. De Souza, I beg your pardon. Kajol finds Priyadarshini. The ball has been blocked effectively there, though. But the ball falls to Priyanka Devi. Leuka. She plays it back to Gladys. And this is Dorcas. Another foreign recruit she is from Kenya this is Narem Priyanka Devi she is called Leuka she is from Manipur started playing with Indian Arrows and Kerala Blasters has also been in the national team since 2022 played five matches and scored two goals Naurem Priyanka Devi uh, on, on the screen at the moment uh, is Manisha Panna and the ball and the game will start with a drop Dorcas the player from Kenya that was Kajol de Souza with that touch she's playing an attacking third that was Gladys finally the ball falls to the white shirts and uh, well a counter-attack has been nipped in the bud it's back to the Setu players at the moment though this is Kartika can she do something with this breakaway move Kartika tries to find Anju Tamang can Anju get the ball no that has been cleared away though by Durga the right fullback not taking any chance and clearing the ball at the cost of a throw in this is Anju Tamang Anju Tamang is from West Bengal she hails from the northern part of the state Anju Tamang this time doesn't get it and the ball goes over the goal line for a goal kick in favor of Setu Madurai this is Faustina Akpo we haven't seen much of Faustina today the other foreigner in the attacking third Cynthia Dos Santos, the Brazilian, is not in the first 11. She is in the reserve bench, though. She can make it to the ground any time. Attack now through Anju. Can Anju get the ball? No, it has been cleared away effectively there by Purnima Kumari. And that will be a goal kick. Purnima Kumari has played in the under 17 FIFA World Cup for India. Purnima has uh, braved a lot of odds in her life and has gone past all the obstacles and has uh, been selected for the national team as well. At the moment, uh, she is playing as uh, the central defender of Setu Madurai. This is uh, the other central defender, Ngapaudi. Durga will be taking the kick there. The score sheet still reads Setu nil, Odisha nil. And there came there came that uh, flag, the offside flag. Dorcas. Dorcas is guarding 
Faustina and has done a pretty good job so far. Once again, Dorcas finds Durga. Back to Purnima Kumari. Durga now. The Setu Madurai players are playing a lot of passes among themselves. Muskan loses out though. And this time, this is Faustina now. Can Faustina do something? Is she offside? Yes. So that was uh, Jashoda Munda. She was uh, clearly offside, offside by Miles there. So the ball was uh, inside the goal, but that will not count because she was clearly offside, offside by Miles. Angela Seba. So after the first quarter of an hour, the score sheet still reads Setu nil, Odisha FC nil. And we are having uh, quite an entertaining match here. It's end to end stuff at Trans Stadia in Ahmedabad. Baladevi can't find a white shirt. This is a good looking attack now. Priya Darshini, she has space in front, she has support in the form of Kajol. Blocked there by the centre defender and it falls to Baladevi. Baladevi can't keep her balance and this is Priyanka Devi the other number 10 Dorcas and that forward pass finds no blue shirt and the ball rolls over the goal line so the Setu Madurai coach shouting instructions as a Shreya Huda Gets the ball. Setu Madurai, as of now, have scored 25 goals in six matches that they have played. They've drawn one, and that was the last match. That was against Kickstart Football Club Karnataka. As Anju finds Julie. Bala Devi. Arifa Zahir. And that was Grace. She finds Jasoda Munda. Can she control Jasoda? Does she keep the ball in play? No, the ball rolls over the goal line for a goal kick. That was Jasoda versus Gladys. And finally, the ball goes out of play for a goal kick. Setu Madurai. Played a goalless draw in the last match that was played against Kickstart Football Club. But in all fairness, both the teams did have a lot of opportunities. But somehow, no, neither of the teams were able, was able to find the back of the net. But in all the other matches, Setu Madurai scored and scored handsomely. Won by huge margins. They started with a 6-0 victory over Churchill Brothers went on to win against Lord's FA by 4-1 then Setu went on to defeat uh, Celtic Celtic Quince by 7 goals to 1 went past Eastern Sporting 3-0 and then defeated CRPF 5-0 meanwhile can it be number 1 this is Kajol that's a lovely pass, but uh, nobody to accept that pass. Counter-attack now from Jasoda Munda. Can Faustina get the ball? Faustina. She controls, passes it back. And that was Kartika. That was uh, a disappointing pass though from Kartika. Meanwhile, Baladevi gets the ball back. Baladevi but can't control that was Purnima she can't keep the ball in play either Baladevi once again Baladevi takes a shot herself but that was too weak to beat the keeper Anjula Subba getting an easy take over there this is Baladevi for you 
Look at that attempt from Baladevi. Very well done in the first place, but that shot was uh, too weak to keep to beat the keeper. Baladevi has already scored five goals in the season so far, and she has also been a part of the goal scoring being assist and that's a shot oh that was a loose ball for Naurim Priyanka Devi some blemish in the Odisha defense look at that that was a not good defending from Arifa and the ball falling to Priyanka but uh, Priyanka can't keep the ball in target Sweetie Devi back to Sweetie long ball Anju Tamang can she get the ball yes Anju goes past Dorcas Anju will she cross yes she does that can be dangerous oh dear what a good opportunity that was for Jasoda Munda but she can't beat the keeper she only had the keeper to beat look at that lovely cross and Jasoda that was disappointing finish from her She puts it straight to the keeper's hand. No problem whatsoever for Angela Suba. She accepts it without any problem. That is uh, just show the Munda for you. Just show the Munda. Hills from Odisha. She plays both from the left and the right. She is playing from the right flank. Meanwhile, this is Kajal. Will she take a shot? Yes, but she misses the target as well. So back-to-back -back opportunities for both the teams. This is Kajal receives us. She's a prolific scorer. She should have done better than that. Look at that volley. Nowhere near the target. Could not test the keeper on that occasion. Manisha Panna taking the goal kick. So it's end-to-end -end stuff. Both the teams going for attack. Remember, Setu Madurai at the moment are sitting pretty on top. But Odisha FC are at number three. Meanwhile, another attack. And this is Priya Darshini. Is she offside? Yes, she is. Look at that. That's very marginal. Priya Darshini was going for that ball. Sweetie. Bala Devi goes for the long ball. Anju, will she get the ball? There's Faustina as well. Two white shirts. But finally, a foul has been committed. So, Faustina has been pulled up for infringement. And that will be a free kick for... And look at that. The whistle was blown there. And a free kick has been, has been awarded... Uh, in favour of Setu Madurai. This is uh, Faustina Okpo. The player. Who has uh, represented the Ghana under 20 team. And has uh, been with Al Nasser team. Playing for the Jordan Women's League. And this is uh, the other player though. This is Jashoda Munda. Jashoda Munda. Is also a promising talent. And... A lot of young people coming here to watch the match. This is a definitely a promising picture as well. Young people getting interest in women's football. Women's football has uh, become very popular these days. And the good thing about it is that women footballers from all over the country are getting a chance to play in different levels as Baladevi is one of the best players in India finds Grace Grace takes the shot there's a deflection flop Faustina now she still has the ball Grace once again she finds Bala Devi and the offside flag is up Bala Devi just not uh, so happy Faustina in fact I believe was offside so the offside uh, flag was up even before Bala Devi got that ball
women's football in India. Started uh, a few decades back in the 90s. Women's football was regularly played in Bengal. And then in 2001, the Calcutta Women's Football League came, to, came into effect as Kajol gets the ball. Kajol de Souza, she finds Priya Darshini. Will that be? No. It can't be anything from that because uh, the offside flag is up once again. Look at that. And uh, again, the offside flag is up for Priya Darshini. As Baladevi now gets the ball, tries to pass it square to Anju Tamang. Anju Tamang still holding on. This is Baladevi. Lovely pass to Jashoda. Jashoda crosses. And Faustina once again denied of that uh, opportunity. And the offside flag is up as well. Look at that. The ball comes to Jashoda and then comes the cross and Faustina has been ruled offside. So Faustina Akpo not able to get uh, to her shape and needs this time. The ball goes over the sideline for a throw-in. Throw-in in favour of Orisa FC. This is the final day of the group stage in the Hero IWL 2022-23 as Grace comes in she passes it square the ball falls to Julie that will be a throw in at the moment at the Shaibag Police Stadium another match is on Eastern Sporting Union are up against Lord's FA Kochi at the moment the score there is 2-2 both the teams have scored two goals each and at the moment here at Transtadia nothing has been scored so far the goal the, the score sheet still reads Setu Madurai nil Odisha FC nil we are into the 27th minute of the match meanwhile Faustina gets the ball but once again look how close Dorcas Sikobe is there Dorcas Sikobe has been marking this player and has done it pretty well so far so we are into the cooling break as the players get into the dugout they will be having some rest some refreshment and some advice from their coaches so far both the teams have got some opportunities but uh, could not find the back of the net so these were the opportunities that came their way Balade Bal Baladevi once again being, uh, in a tick of uh, things and uh, Kajol D'Souza the prolific scorer for Setu Madurai also got a few opportunities once again Baladevi's cross a shot and her passes and Jitamang also had some promising runs and this was by far the best opportunity for Odisha FC and the best opportunity in the match so far but uh, Jashoda Munda just not able to find the target and the back of the net in fact So both the matches uh, at the moment are locked 1-0-0 zero, zero here. This is uh, Transtadia. Setu Madurai 0. Arisa FC 0. The other match has already seen four goals. Eastern Sporting Union scored twice. And so did Lord's FA Kochi. In the morning today, kickstart football club Karnataka routed CRPF football club by nine goals to nothing.
and in another match Celtic Queens aged past Churchill Brothers Football Club by two goals to one you are watching group B action this is the final days play two matches are played simultaneously at the moment you're watching the match played at Tron Stadia Setu Madurai are sitting pretty on top with 16 points from six matches kickstart football club Karnataka have 16 points from seven matches Odisha FC have 15 from six matches so if Odisha can beat Setu Madurai they will climb up the ladder and go on top of group B if there is a draw then it will be Setu Madurai who will be topping this group and uh, if uh, Setu Madurai win then they will definitely remain at number one but at the moment this is the score Setu Madurai nil Odisha FC nil now attack straight away from Setu Madurai but that's uh, well covered there by Manisha Panna so that will be a corner so straight away after the cooling break corner awarded to Setu Madurai the first corner for Setu Odisha FC already had one corner can the score change from this corner Apurna the ball still inside the penalty box that touch was too heavy there so it has been cleared away but the ball falls to Gladys in comes the cross aerial tussle finally no problems for the Orisa players as Jashoda Munda comes deep into her own territory to help the defenders she finds grace the ball falls to Faustina now Faustina what will she do from here she's waiting for some support she finds the support in the form of Jashoda Munda Jashoda she is challenged there by Apurna Jashoda still holding on and she'll get a corner so back to back corners one for Odisha F one for Setu and now for Odisha so this is the second corner of the match for Odisha FC the third corner of the match uh, at the moment it's uh, Kartika Kartika who took the first corner he will be taking the second corner as well for her team she will be floating it in in comes the corner and the keeper this time not able to grip it another shot and uh, finally the clearance comes in so no problem for say to Madurai defense but they have conceded a throw in in comes the corner there look at that the keeper was not in the best of positions and Muskan tried to go for the for ball in fact uh, that was uh, grace so finally the throw in is awarded to say to Madurai Tokus Purnima rather sweetie gets the ball finds Kartika wrong pass now a lovely pass is she onside no Kajol D'Souza has been ruled offside once again frustration for Kajol she had a look at that Kajol going for the ball oh that was very marginal once again very marginal call from the assistant referee Kajol may find herself a bit unlucky on that occasion Dorcas this is Dorcas Sikobe she's won a free kick and that was Faustina reckless challenge Faustina not uh, getting that rhythm so far as Jasoda Munda gets the ball this is Faustina will she get the ball oh she falls so as many as three blue shirts were manning her 
Faustina Okpo, the player from Ghana. And she will be substituted. So, substitution early on. Faustina will be substituted by Linda Com. This is Linda Com. So, an early substitution for Odisha FC. Will that uh, change the scenario of the match? Will that change the fortune of Odisha? This is Linda Com. It comes in to the ground in the 34th minute itself. Seto Madurai will also depend a lot on uh, Kajol D'Souza, D'Souza who has already scored nine goals. Arifa Zahir loses out there. And who else than Kajol with the ball? Arifa Zahir. Look, Arifa Zahir was with the ball and uh, taking no risk whatsoever. Kajol D'Souza is a prolific scorer. She had a dream start to this season. Once again, she gets a touch but can't control. Kajol started uh, against uh, Churchill Brothers and she scored as many as four goals straight away in the first match. And Seto routed Churchill 6 0. Ivy Tieno and uh, Sunita Munda came as substitutes and scored the other two goals but Kajol scored as many as four meanwhile Anju still with trying to get the ball but good defending there from Dorcas Muskan can't get the ball so the ball falls to the keeper Shreya Huda Manisha Panna and Jitamang. We have seen a few very good runs from Anju, but only in the initial few minutes of the match. But after that, we haven't seen much from her. This is Linda Kam, the substitute. Can she make a mark straight away in the match? No, not for now. And Jutamang now gets the ball. That's a loose ball. That's a cross. And Baladevi's header does not find the target. So that was a gifted opportunity to Odisha FC. The Setu Madurai defenders need to be very cautious. Look at that. She had a lot of space. A clear sight of the goal. And what a good cross that was. And... Baladevi just not able to find the target. Baladevi has scored five goals so far. And more importantly, she had uh, assisted in so many goals with those defence splitting passes. Meanwhile, Anjut Tamang inside the penalty box. She'll go for the ball. Oh dear. Once again, cleared away. Kartika. Danger still not averted. Grace with that shot, but nowhere near the target. That's uh, Grace Horner on the screen. Grace is also a player of the national team. She's also featured in the under-17 and, un and under-19 national teams. She's also with the Gokulam team, which won the Hero IWL in 2019-20. Meanwhile, Jashoda Munda all by herself. Very good defending there. And uh, the Setu Madurai defenders just funneling their defence, look at that, always three to four blue shirts inside their penalty box and they're keeping the Odisha players at bay. Setu Madurai are also depending on two of their frontline players. One of them is Despria Darshani. She crosses, tries to find the other one, Kajol D'Souza. 
but she got, doesn't get it in an easy take for the Orisa goalkeeper Sharia Huda Grace a good pass but Jashoda Munda just not able to reach that ball just a bit fast for over there look at that no problem for the goalkeeper and uh, that's a foul of free kick has been awarded and that was uh, a push from behind no question Mushkan Subba the referee just was waiting for the players uh, and was uh, wondering whether advantage can be given but then the ball went out and immediately she blew her whistle again good defending from the Setu Madurai players meanwhile Jashoda Munda from the right can she cross yes she does and that's a goal so Anju Tamang scores the first goal for Odisha FC it's the first goal of the match or was there a whistle blown by the referee oh that has been ruled out because foul has been given a free kick has been awarded in it seems yes Hanji Taman can't believe it it seems uh, that the keeper was fouled what a good setup that was Jashoda's cross she does well to go past Gladys and then there was a collision and a foul and a free kick has been awarded so the ball goes inside the goal finds the back of the net but the referee rules it out and there was the collision Anju Tamang and the Odisha FC players not happy with the decision look at that that was the collision and the referee awarding a free kick in favor of Setu Madurai well, we have to wait and see whether it was a it was an offside well it's a, a bit of confusion there was it an offside was it a foul there was a collision no doubt about that meanwhile it's a Linda calm she finds uh, Bala Devi Anju crosses no white shirt Jashoda Munda will get the ball again will she cross she goes past Gladys yet again but the ball goes rolls over the goal line another attack once again not finding any result this is uh, Anju Tamang uh, let's see once again what really happened Jashoda and then was she offside was she offside was it a foul whatever the case she has been ruled out meanwhile another attack oh dear what an opportunity for the new player Linda Calm once again it's the Jashoda and once again she's able to get across right look at that and uh, in Gupaudi this time taking it a bit casually so Jashoda Munda has been creating troubles in the Setu Madurai defense she has gone past Gladys a number of times and this time she goes past N Gopaudi attack from the left now this is Kartika Julie the cross comes in has been intercepted and that will be another corner so it's all happening and uh, only two or rather one minute of regulation time left and we'll have to wait uh, for the fourth official to see how many minutes are added as Anju Tamang 
she has already made a mark in this match she's with the corner Jashoda doesn't get it and the ball falls to Manisha Panna but Anju doesn't anticipate the ball goes out of play for a throw in in favor of Setu Madurai so for the last few minutes it has been all Odisha FC Setu Madurai are busy defending can Setu Madurai come back in the match at the moment they are defending meanwhile it's Baladevi can she unleash another defense splitting pass she finds Anjit Tamang it's back to Baladevi now Baladevi looking for options she passes it back meanwhile five minutes have been added by the fourth official and Odisha FC are attacking once again Anjit Tamang again the flag is up look at that Anju Tamang once again marginal decision from the assistant referee whatever the case uh, Tamang is uh, offside and uh, she is not happy she's uh, showing some dissent as well she has to keep her cool Anju Tamang again so both the flanks have been very effectively used by Odisha FC. Jashoda running from the right, Anju running from the left. This is Jashoda once again looking for support. Jashoda finds Grace. Will she take a shot from distance? She finds Linda Calm, but that's a timely tackle but the ball goes back to Linda Kam. loose ball Linda Kam will she cross once again the block comes in and that will be another corner look at that that was Gladys and Gladys is not having the best of times in the defense today but she redeems herself and comes back or was that uh, Dorcas That was Durga. In fact, in comes the corner from Kartika. But this time, the keeper does well to collect. Timely jump. Well anticipated. And a confident take. Look at that. Kartika's cross and straight to the keeper. That's Kartika. Angamutu. Sunita Devi. Arifa Zahir. Arifa finds Kartika. Back to Kartika. Julie Kishan. Setu Madurai are not having uh, so many people up front. So Kajal D'Souza is uh, running out of partners. We have seen a few opportunities for Setu Madurai where Priya Darshini and Kajal D'Souza were pairing well but just uh, not able to convert those opportunities that came their way Jashoda tackled ball falls to Kartika Arifa back to Jashoda look at Jashoda she is confidence personified at the moment this is Bala Devi F tries to find Anju A timely a block comes in back to Arifa Zahir Jashoda Kartika back to Jashoda Munda Jashoda this time has uh, Ngapaudi in front of her look at that and uh, Paudi somehow manages to put the ball out at the cost of a corner. So another corner for Odisha FC. And uh, the, ball, the game has started to uh, throw in. Meanwhile has been taken and it's back to the white shirts. We are in the final minute minute of the first half. Apurna Nazari 
trying to get the ball. She will win a throw in for her team. Can Setu Madurai do something spectacular in the dying minutes of the first half? They have been busy defending. Now they have a chance to get into the attack, but time is running out. They have to take uh, the throw in quickly as well. Gladys with the throw in. And in comes the ball inside the penalty box. And not a very comprehensive clearance there from Manisha Panna. And that will be a corner in the dying minutes of the match. The corner will be taken and that uh, will be the final action before half-time whistle is blown. Now Rem Priyanka Devi now. Short corner quickly taken. That was Kajol. Meanwhile, the ball comes in. Oh dear. That was a wasted opportunity. And the whistle for half time is blown by referee Monica Jana. So at half time, the score reads Setu Madurai Football Club nil. Odisha Football Club nil. And there is no question that Odisha FC did have the better of the exchanges and that player Anju Tamang whom you just saw on the screen was not happy as her goal was ruled out so before we take a break here's a quick look at the highlights of the first half Bala Devi early on with an attack and this is Kajol D'Souza but uh, this player has made a huge difference. What a good pass that was from Anjut Tamang. And uh, Jashoda Munda will have to rue. And once again, another good pass from Anju. So Anju Tamang, the way she has played, is definitely a contender for the hero of the match. It's too early to say, as we have just come to the end of the first half. So at half time, the score reads Setu Madurai nil, Odisha FC nil. We'll be back with more action after the break.
Welcome back to Transtadia in Ahmedabad for a second half action of this match between Setu Madurai and Odisha FC. As you can see on the screen, the deadlock isn't broken as of now. In the first 45 minutes, both the teams had their opportunities. Odisha FC, of course, had uh, more opportunities than Setu Madurai. But none of the teams able to score so far and we hope that goals will be scored in the second half as we all want to see goals scored and the slogan of FIFA in fact is also go for goals will the players be able to go for goals as a referee checks his watch and here we are. The second half begins at Transtadia. Setu Madurai in all blue are playing from left to right of the screen. And Odisha FC in all white are playing from right to left as Madurai now in attack from the right. That's uh, Apurna. She finds Kajal. Will she take a shot? Yes, she does, but just misses the target. So, first bit of action there from Madurai. Look at that attempt there from this uh, player, Kajal D'Souza. She's already scored as many as nine goals. Kajol Hills from Pune, Maharashtra. She has been with the under-17 Indian team for the FIFA under-17 World Cup. Attack now from the right from Odisha FC. But uh, the ball goes out of play and that will be a throw-in for Setu Madurai. That's Muskan. Muskan Subba. Muskan Subba comes from Sikkim. Has been a part of the under 17 national team as well. And once again, the ball goes out of play. Throw in for Madurai. Set to Madurai. Attacking from the very word go in the second half. Grace though. Can't clear the ball. This can be dangerous. That was Kajol D'Souza. Priya Darshini now from the left. Priya Darshini has Arifa. Finally, Sweetie Devi clears the ball. And the ball falls to Jashoda Munda. Balo Devi. Can we see so those uh, defense splitting passes from Balo Devi? This was uh, an attempted pass from uh, Julie Kishan, but the ball will fall to the white shots again. It's uh, Balo Devi. Anju and this is Linda Kam inside the penalty box. Linda Kam finds Jashoda. Odisha FC players are back in attack now. Jashoda. Finds Arifa. The ball is lost to Dorcas. The player from Kenya. Once again. A hopeful ball. Meant for Kajol. But the ball falls to the. White shirts. And finally. A throw in. Quickly taken by Julie. This is Anju Tamang. The hero of the match. In the last match. Finds Baladevi. Baladevi. Is challenged by Dorcas. Dorcas gets the ball, but the challenge was not good, says the referee. And that's a free kick in favor of Odisha FC. And that was uh, tackling from behind. Nobody on the ball. Look at that. Dorcas uh, Sikobe conceding a free kick.
a human wall. And the goalkeeper Anjila Suba is making sure the human wall is placed in the right position. This is Anjila Suba, the Nepalese international. She will be tested by Baladevi. Just show that Anju. This is Baladevi finally. Oh dear. There was a plan, there was a setup, but the execution was rather disappointing. Anju now. She has space in front. Anju crosses. An easy clearance there. And finally, the ball is cleared away by Durga. Look at that pass from Anju. Anju crosses, hoping to find Linda Kam. This is Baladevi, who is a key player. Meanwhile, another key player for the other team. Kajol is with the ball. Kajol is taking position up front. And a shot comes from Priyadarshini, testing the keeper. That was uh, intelligently played. And uh, finally, Setu Madurai will get a corner early in the second half. Look at that. That was Priyadarshini going for the shot herself. Just uh, eyeing the goalkeeper's position. She was out of a position a bit. And then she goes back and punches it out. That's uh, Shreya Huda. So Shreya Huda will now do some defending as Priyanka Devi with a corner. She's curling it in. Headed away. As many as four white shirts. That was Durga. This is Purnima Kumari. Not the best of passes. Main for Durga and the ball goes out for a throw in in favor of Odisha FC. Durga once again tries to find Kajol. And this is Kajol now. Will she go past the defender? That was Sweetie Devi. Now that was uh, Apurna Nazari being tackled. Meanwhile, another shot and uh, straight to the keeper. Shuria Hoda has been unbeaten so far. Shuria Hoda heals from Haryana. 24 years of age. She will be celebrating her birthday this month on 25th. And she will hope that uh, her team will win the IWL. Meanwhile, a foul and a free kick has been awarded. And look at that. That was uh, dangerous from Apurna Narzari. This is Apurna Narzari. She has been warned by the referee. A free kick awarded to Orisa. Manisha, Manisha Panna doing well to keep uh, Kajol D'Souza at bay. A lot depends on her, a lot depends on Priya Darshini as well. We have to wait and see whether Setu Madurai will go in all-out attack. They are defending well. There were some errors in the defence as well. As Anju Tamang, she has been able to split the defence open a number of times. She has essayed some very good crosses from the left. Now, Tamang gets the ball back. This is Anju Tamang. She has Linda Kam up front. Goes for Linda Kam. Covered well by the central defender. But the ball falls to Kartika. This is Jashoda Munda now. Baladevi. Oh dear, what did, she, what did Baladevi do actually? She was uh, just uh, hesitant whether to go for a pass or for a shot and then it finally became too easy for the keeper, Anjila Subba. Baladevi was uh, at her best against uh, Lord's FA. She was the 
player of the match. He's seeing some magnificent passes from the midfield. Where the address of the goal was printed on these passes as Kartika. We are yet to see those uh, passes from Bala Devi. But this player, Linda, I beg your pardon, Anju, has been quite a revelation. She has played very well in the last match and she is playing pretty well today as well. But this time she won't be able to keep the ball in play and uh, that will be a throw in in favour of Odisha FC. Once again, Anju goes inside the penalty box herself. That's a good pass, Bala Devi. Oh dear. What a good opportunity that was. And again, the ball is lopped in, but straight to the keeper. So, Odisha FC are doing everything except scoring. Kartika. This is Linda Com. Can she keep the ball in play? Yes, she does. In comes the cross. Deflection and that will be a corner. So once again, after the initial few minutes, Odisha FC have taken control of the match. They're playing a lot of passes. They are playing an attacking brand of football. Meanwhile, the corner quickly taken. In comes the cross and Baladevi's header. Danger still not averted and finally it's Dorcas with that clearance. So Baladevi who scored five goals already is yet to score a goal although she is getting opportunities galore. That was uh, Jashoda Munda and Baladevi's cross. Or rather Baladevi's header did not uh, find the target. Sweetie Devi, once again Jashoda Munda, another player who is playing a lovely match today. Both Anju Tamang and Jashoda are keeping the side backs of Setu Madurai very busy. Jashoda Munda has gone past Gladys a number of times. Long ball once again to Tamang. Is she, is she offside? The ball goes out of play as well. Yes, uh, the offside flag was up. So, Anju Tamang once again was offside. This is Anju Tamang. The player who can make a difference in this match. And Jitavan hails from Birpara, West Bengal. She started with a rising student club. She also played for Gokulam Kerala, for Kripsha, for Setu. The team against which she is playing at the moment. Setu Madurai. And Jitavan has also been with the Indian national team. Since 2016, as Julie finds Sweetie Devi. Sweetie Devi tries to get a Bala Devi. Doesn't get it. Coach wondering what more can his team do to find the back of the net. Anju passes it square. Apurna Nazari. This is Kajol. This is, that is uh, Apurna, in fact, with the ball, but uh, it has been cleared well. Look at that, Apurna. And Sweetie Devi comes to the rescue. And finally, 
The throw in uh, is awarded to Odisha FC as Anju Tamang comes deep into her own territory. Finds Manisha. Oh, that's a wrong pass, a terrible pass there. This can be dangerous. This is Apurna inside the penalty box. Oh, this can be dangerous. Oh, that, that was a very timely clearance. Mushkan not able to take that shot. The blocking came in time. Good defending from Odisha FC. Arifa. Jashoda. Grace comes in. This is Anju Tamang. That, in fact, was... Uh, Linda Com in the first place. This is Kartika. And the ball falls to Anju. Anju has Linda up front. Anju's cross. And that was a that was a good looking header. But uh, somehow the white shirts can't find the back of the net. Have a look at it once again. In comes uh, the cross. And the header comes in once again, not on target. But this player has done what he is supposed to. Linda Com on that occasion, not able to keep the ball on target. So after 60 minutes, the score sheet reads Setu Madurai nil, Odisha FC nil. Gladys again. Miss pass there. However, Muskan gets the ball back. Muskan pressing football there from Odisha team. They're not allowing the Setu Madurai players to play the passes uh, in the penetrative zone. Very good defending. The midfield at the moment is also dominated by the white shirts. Bala Devi. Linda inside the penalty box. Linda. She has Anju in support. In comes the cross. Deflection. And the ball goes wide. Bala Devi gets the ball back though. Bala Devi takes a shot herself. Lu not uh, finds not able to find the target. Again, Bala Devi erring. Perhaps uh, she could have done well. If you cross the ball, that was Linda Calm, the substitute. The deflection took the ball away from Anju and then Baladevi does well to get the ball back. But then that was uh, not the best of passes. Even if it was on target, the keeper was very well placed, very well positioned, manning the near post. Meanwhile, attack from the other end. Apurna Nazari not able to get the ball. This is Apurna. She will get a throw in though. The player from Assam finds Dorcas. Very good defending once again. Jashoda Munda has space in front. Jashoda Munda has Linda Calm. And this is Baladevi foul and that will be a free kick in favor of Setu is it and Baladevi pulling Gladys on that occasion so frustration showing in Baladevi she has done everything to get the ball inside the penetrative zone. Once again, loose ball falling to the white shirt. Lost out though. Sweetie Devi finds Jashoda. Jashoda Munda. Again, she goes past Gladys. And this is a, a very... Now, th th this, this uh, happens to be a rough tackle and a yellow card for the first time. Flaunted. And this is a Gladys who has been cautioned by the referee. Monica Jana. 
That was uh, an attacking move, a goal-bound movement, and Monica Jana taking no time to show that yellow card to Gladys. It's frustration for Gladys. She's just not able to deal with the speed of Jashoda Munda. Free kick. And who else than Jashoda will be taking the kick? In comes the cross. Too long. That was uh, too long and Jashoda in fact left the ball for Kartika and Kartika's shot missing everything sailing over the goal line for a goal kick Anjila Subba with the goal kick once again pressure applied on the blue shirts this is Arifa the right full back of Odisha FC Arifa is from Maharashtra she also played for Setu FC previously so she's also playing against her old team once again the referee's whistle has been blown and at the moment uh, it seems uh, Muskan is reeling in pain that seems to be painful hopefully the injury is not very serious she's up on her feet and the match is about to restart restart with a free kick and Gapaldi taking the kick tries to fight Priya Darshini the ball goes out of play and that will be another throw in for Setu Gladys the left full back of Setu Madurai had a very tough time in this match she's also been cautioned by the referee with the yellow meanwhile Anju Jashoda gets the loose ball this time Gladys does very well that will boost her confidence for sure but again the ball falls to the white shirts comes the cross and uh, was there a deflection yes there was a deflection and that will be a corner another corner for Odisha FC can Odisha FC score one if the match ends in a draw then Setu Madurai will remain on top of the group in comes the cross header the ball falls to Julie this is Manisha Panna another cross comes in that's a miss kick Julie can't find any hope of a teammates Dorcas with a clearance Priyanka Devi now quick breakaway move Priya Darshini but again the breakaway move finding no positive result Angela Subba takes her time collects the ball Priya Darshani now trying to find uh, Kajol D'Souza but can't find Kajol that's Priya Darshani Setu Madurai will definitely defend first and then go for counter-attacks that has been the tactics for Setu Madurai from the very word go because remember they are on top of the group and if they can uh, get at least one point from this match with a draw then they will remain the table toppers Odisha need to win this match to go up on top. Anju Tamang this time can't get the ball. The ball finally falls to Manisha. Manisha gets uh, Sweetie Devi. Sweetie is from uh, Imphal, Manipur. 
she finds Tamang who is from West Bengal so players from all over the country from the northeast from the east from the south they are representing different teams in this uh, hero IWL and uh, finally Bala Devi is uh, being substituted by Piari wonder whether we'll be seeing Cynthia dos Santos the Brazilian she is still waiting in the wings Bala Devi one of the most experienced players look at that so Bala Devi has done her bit in the match she's experienced and another header from Bala Devi so that was all Bala Devi did in this match so far the only thing is that she did not find the back of the net at the moment she will be cooling her heels in the dugout she's uh, 33 and she's done pretty well for her team and uh, her team needs her in the knockout stage as well Cynthia dos Santos the Brazilian is also waiting in the dugout we have to wait and see whether she will be fielded in this match as Muskan Subba and that's uh, Doka that was a good attempt from uh, Freya Darshini the pass came from Dorcas look at that Freya Darshini going for that volley it's always uh, difficult to keep uh, such a volley on target action in the other end though Linda Calm finds Anju she takes a shot there's a deflection the ball falls to the keeper football enthusiasts would remember the European Cup final 1988 when Marco van Basten scored a spectacular goal from a volley that was the final match uh, scoring for Netherlands from a similar position that was Marco van Basten meanwhile back to hero IWL a shot comes from distance uh, to wick there to beat Shreya Huda Priyanka Devi taking that shot meanwhile a lot of space there for Julie Julie finds uh, the newcomer that's Perry Grace now will she cross straight to the keeper that was a Grace's cross and gracefully accepted by Angela Subba she doesn't have to move an inch she positioned herself in the near post that's experience she is experienced she has a lot of experience in international football as well meanwhile another attack from Jashoda Linda Kaum gets the ball inside the penalty box Linda Kaum gets another substitute Perry in action back to Jashoda Munda and she goes past Gladys once again Jashoda versus Gladys that has been the battle so far Gladys this time comes in the way and that will be a corner in favor of Odisha FC but uh, before the corner will be take before the corner is taken the players will go off for a quick cooling break said to Madurai still holding on this is the score here after 74 minutes said to Madurai nil Odisha FC nil 
minutes, about 15 minutes of regulation time left before the long whistle is blown. This is Anjila Subba. She has done her job pretty well today. 26 years of age. The player from Nepal. So that was Kajol this is Still waiting for her first goal this uh, in this match. And that was a, a, a test there from distance. But then uh, Bala Devi once again just not able to find the back of the net. But this player, Anju Tamang, is uh, playing very well. That was uh, Linda Kong, the new player in. Once again, Bala Devi. And that was uh, the only booking of the match. Gladys Zunang Sangwe. And this was the last bit of action. A volley attempted by Priya Darshani from across from Dorcas. Dorcas uh, is on the screen right now. Dorcas Isikobe from Kenya. Kajol D'Souza is on the screen. She's from Pune, Maharashtra. She started playing football with her elder brother Kian and his friends. And that was how uh, she got interested in football and then she showed a lot of promise. Was in the Arsenal soccer school program, La Liga football schools, Deccan 11. She was coached by Anil Deshpande before moving to Royal FC, where she was tutored by Yogesh. And now she's playing in the hero IWL, one of the prominent players of women football in India, as uh, the floater comes in from the corner. Another opportunity from for Julie, but too many blue shirts. Julie still gets the ball, tries to find someone. And the ball goes out of play harmlessly, so no problems for this uh, young lady, Anjila Subba. There are a few players from Nepal playing in the Hero IWL and uh, they're doing pretty well. The shoulder crosses Anju. Will she score? No. Once again, what a good opportunity for Anju Tamang. What a good cross that was, Anju. Oh, what a terrible finish. Look at that. Just going for the header, but finding the keeper straight away. Could easily have been goal number one for Odisha. So the deadlock continues. It's nil-nil here at Transtadia. Say to Madurai, nil. Odisha FC, nil. Say to Madurai, will be happy with this result. Say to Madurai, need only a draw. Meanwhile, the free kick comes in. Rather disappointing, no elevation. And this is uh, an attack from Piari. Piari takes a shot herself. Misses the target though. Seto Madurai have 16 points from 6 matches. Kickstart Football Club have 16 points from 7 matches. And Odisha FC have one point less, 15 from six matches. So a win from here will take them to the top of Group A. But in Group B, there is uh, no problem for Gokulam Kerala. Meanwhile, it's a good looking attack. This is Priya Darshini will take a shot. Oh dear, that's a shot. Very well saved in the end by the keeper diving to his to her left. Look at that. A shot comes in. 
and Kajol D'Souza was in the right place waiting for the ball to spill out but Shreya Huda does uh, the work cleanly collects the ball denies Kajol her 10th goal as Kartika Dorcas the Kenyan Dorcas still holding on in comes the cross Priyadarshini Priyadarshini takes a shot that's Kajol there lucky therefore the Odisha defenders Kajol was completely unmarked that was Priyadarshini doing well and look at that pass Kajol was menacingly close to the goalkeeper Muskan Muskan this time loses out to Grace Jashoda Linda Kam Linda Kam has uh, in Gaupadi finally the ball is cleared both the players are on the ground referee says play on Kartika Anju Tamang getting in the middle after Baladevi has left and Piari is playing from the left Anju Tamang has been very effective playing through the flanks she's able to play from both the left and the right flanks she has been extremely active uh, in the left she has been alive where now she has gone to the right she's playing in the middle in fact and uh, at the, in the right is uh, this lady Jashoda Munda this is Grace she finds Jashoda Jashoda tries to find Linda Com. And the volley comes from the keeper. This is Muskan. Muskan has Grace uh, along with her. Muskan finds Kajol. Kajol de Souza. Can't control. The ball goes out of play. That will be a throw in. Throw in in favor of Odisha FC. Harifa Zahir will be taking the throw in, but uh, there will be a change. Sumati Kumari will be coming in for Priyadarshini. This is uh, Sumati Kumari. She also has the ability to score. Meanwhile, they need to defend as uh, Anju Tamang. Goes to the right. In comes the floater. And this is Piari. Piari still with the ball. Goes for the shot herself. But straight to the keeper. And once again, Anju Tamang was uh, very close to the keeper. But Anjila doing everything right. Look at that. She's doing the basics right. But the ball just not uh, being collected very cleanly. Almost spilling out. But she does well to recover. Action in the other end, headed away by Manisha Panna. The ball falls to Arifa. Arifa finds Jashoda Munda. Once again, this is Anju Tamang. Definitely a contender to be the hero of the match today as uh, Linda Kam. Two blue shirts. Linda Kam once again gets the ball back. Linda Kam, another shot. But uh, that was blocked there and finally deflected to the keeper the sting of the shot goes out look at that that was a shot and straight to the defender now this is Kajol D'Souza 
Can she show the magic? Not now, though. Fiari. This is Fiari now. Durga. Grace going for the ball. Gladys. She finds Dorcas. Setu Madurai. Trying to get hold of the possession. But it's back to the white shirts. This is Perry, the substitute. She tries to find Linda Com. The ball has been lost to the blue shirts though. Kajol Desuza. Once again, very well marked by Manisha Panna. The two central defenders doing well to keep Kajol D'Souza at bay. And they have done it quite successfully so far as Manisha Panna finds Kartika. This is Grace. Jashoda Munda. Anju Tamang. Once again, Anju. Tries to go past uh, Gopaldi. The cross comes in and a deflection and that will be a corner. Another corner for Odisha FC. Just uh, a bit uh, more than four minutes left of regulation time before the final whistle. Can Odisha FC score a goal? Can Odisha FC get three points? Can Odisha FC go up the ladder? and top the group in comes the cross the corner once again not uh, yielding any result Anjitawang gets the ball back she crosses and a header comes in and a collision as well that is uh, Manisha Panna going for that ball look at that Manisha Panna and Durga So Muskan is uh, going out and uh, Kiran Pizda is coming in. Kiran Pizda. So 25 and 12 coming in. And Kajol has been substituted. Kajol D'Souza, who had a quiet match uh, so far has been substituted didn't make a mark in this match Kajol D'Souza the main player the main scorer for Setu Madurai he scored as many as nine goals four goals against the Churchill brothers a couple of goals against the Lord's FA a couple of goals against Celtic she has uh, not done anything significant in this match and has been substituted so a few fresh pairs of pairs of legs for Setu Madurai and Sunita Munda, one of them straight away in action. Durga will be taking the throw in. This is Durga with the throw in. Finds Priyanka. Durga once again floats it in. Dorcas Sikobe, the Kenyan. She's done well in the defence. She's playing in between the defenders and the midfielders. Sunita. Not able to go past Julie Kishan and the ball goes out of play. And Kishan doing well. To deny Sunita Munda a throw in awarded to Setu Madurai. In comes the floater. Header comes in from Sweetie Devi. Jashoda. Kiran Pizda is another substitute.
So only a minute left of regulation time in this match and maybe five or six minutes will be added by the fourth official. We have to wait for the confirmation. Anju Tamang. Unleashes the pass. And this is Linda Kam. All by herself. Linda Kam finds Perry. Perry looking for support. Back to Anju. And finally, it falls to the blue shirts. Kishan. Back to Kishan. Well defended there. Anju Tamang now. She finds Perry, the substitute. So six minutes have been added by the fourth official. And we are already in added time. So after 90 minutes, the score sheet still reads Setu F Madurai nil, Odisha FC nil. Can Odisha score that all important goal from this corner as Anju Tamang? Takes the corner, in comes the header, and the final clearance in the melee as Kartika goes for the ball. Linda Kam with that shot and straight to the keeper. Linda Kam, who came as a substitute in the first half, goes uh, with that shot. That was the pass from Kartika. That was Linda Kam. But Angela, with all her experience, positioned herself in the right place. And finally, it became so easy for her to collect the ball. Angela Subba also have, uh, having a very good match today. The keeper of uh, Madurai, the keeper of Odisha FC also had a pretty good match as uh, she has to do some defending in. While meanwhile, Madurai can score. What an opportunity! What an opportunity for Sumati Kumari. The substitute could easily have been the first goal for Setu Madurai. Oh dear. That was the easiest chance that any team got today. Only a tap would have done it. And she knows it. Sumati Kumari is upset with herself. Meanwhile, this is Perry. And it can be the goal. And the woodwork denying her another shot from Linda Com blocked effectively. Oh, it's all happening here at Trump Stadium. It's back to back, end to end action. Look at that. That was another opportunity. Finally, the ball kisses the bar. And Linda Com with another shot. And it's all happening. Look at that. Another chance there for Piari. She doesn't find the back of the net. She finds the bar. The corner comes in. Gress tries for the header. Shot comes in. That is uh, wayward. So a lot of action in added time. Anything can happen. And the spectators here at Transtadia are keen to watch some goals being scored. Long clearance from Setu Madurai players. Dorcas still holding on. Durga. Can't keep the ball in play. There's a sense of urgency in the white shirts. They know how important it is to get all the three points here. Handball. Freaky quickly taken. This is Anju Tamang. Clearance comes. And another substitution for Setu Madurai. So some medical attention for the player set to Madurai. That is Gladys.
So Gladys had a busy day today. She found it rather difficult and challenging to keep Jashoda Munda at bay. Jashoda Munda and Tamang both will definitely be contenders for the hero of the match. Anjit Tamang playing so well to the left and Jashoda Munda has been a live wire to the right. So any one of them can definitely be getting uh, the check of rupees 15,000 and a trophy of the hero of the match. Odisha FC players will however be happy if they can score one goal. Couple of minutes still left, one minute according to the clock but maybe a minute and a half will be added by the on-field referee because we had some loss of time even in added time. Naketa comes in place of Gladys. Gladys uh, had an injury and Naketa will be in So we are in the last minute of the match. That's a good looking uh, forward pass but no blue shirt. Easy take there for Shreya Huda. Sunit Sweetie Devi finds Linda Calm. So if this match ends uh, in a goalless draw, then it will be a back to back goalless draw for Setu Madurai. They drew against Kickstart FC. Neither of the teams was able to score a goal. And this match is heading towards a goalless draw as well. We are already in added time as Julie Kishan now gets the ball. Meanwhile, that was uh, Jashoda Munda. Kartika. And finally, the whistle is blown to mark the end of the match. The final score, Setu Madurai nil, Odisha FC nil. And Setu Madurai will be happy with this result as they will be staying on top of the group. That's Group B. So Setu Madurai, after seven matches, will be having 17 points. So the two teams uh, So the two seem two teams will be going out uh, one of them will be a bit more happy the happier team of course is uh, Setu Madurai as they garnered one point from this match and therefore they will finish this uh, group stage staying on top of group B and uh, these are the highlights then there were a few opportunities for both the teams but uh, none of the teams finally was able to find the back of the net And this is the player, Jashoda, who has kept the Setu Madurai defenders busy. 
we have to wait and see who will ultimately be the hero of the match it may either be Jashoda or this player Anjit Tamang both of them played pretty well so towards the end of the match there were so many opportunities one was this and look at this opportunity it could easily have been set to one Odisha nil and that was uh, Sumati Kumari missing that and immediately after that there was action in the other end and uh, well that's Jashoda Munda receiving the hero of the match award from uh, Mr. R. D. Bhatt Secretary Sports Authority of Gujarat and uh, Jashoda Munda is the hero of the match what a nice uh, performance uh, that was from this young lady Jashoda Munda the young lady from Odisha but finally none of the teams able to score so this is the final score then set to Madurai FC nil Odisha FC nil and we'll be back with more action in the knockout stage of hero IWL stay tuned till then goodbye and good night